Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing Live, December 10th. I'm Braden. I'm Dan. I'm Andrew. And joining us, we have our resident alien theorist theorizing historian correspondent, Bandito Frito. I think that works, Dan, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, Hello. Works. That's yeah the uh, yeah. Work. I don't know if anyone knows more about the podcast than Bandito. She knows more than all of us combined. Yes, I think so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got a little uh, weekly roundup. We just did a uh, Bandito. We did the Exeter incident three hundred three. Did you listen to that one yet? Yes. How? What do you think? Yes, I did. So, okay, so it had the red lights, right? Yeah. And on Cosmic Channel, someone called in about the lights that they saw. And it got me thinking that, you know how, like, I think you mentioned that the red light that we use is to help preserve our, like, night yeah. vision. What if it's the same kind of thing for them? What if they're using these different colored lights? Because that's what, you know, uh, light spectrum that they see best in. The red is actually a white light for them. And so they can see everything when there's red lights. Or they're using blue lights because it helps. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Them I, you know, I didn't. I didn't think of it like that. Like that's their fucking their flashlights. were like, what are these shiny these color lights? But really, it's that would. It's. I I, I don't yeah, know if that so checks out with lights, science. Like, oh god, that's a horrible. But light. that would make sense. Like with rods and cones. Like I I don't know. Maybe. Well, how do we know they're that's seeing it. with rods and cones like we do? I have no idea. Seeing out their that's what I'm saying. Know. That's what I'm no saying. Clue. Why it could it could totally make sense? Yeah. Because why not? That would make sense. But what? Why the pattern? Right? Why the pattern to the lights? Because <clears throat> they see in patterns. Maybe that. And maybe it's some sort of uh, like SOS. No, what's the actual word for it? Um, Morse code. You know, Morse code type of thing. Maybe they were communicating with other people, or maybe that's how they think we communicate because they heard you know, some SOS or Morse code signal from the past get translated out or something. Sure. It could be some kind of close encounters of the third which, kind deal. Yeah. Sure, it's, a, it's a, it's a super interesting, yeah. my favorite part about that uh, case file, which if you're listening to this came out two days ago, um, is just the fact the amount of, there's not a lot of times where you see a lot of effort from the officials to disprove it and fail miserably at disproving it, like, and then continue on. Because normally they just, like, stick to their guns. They're like, hey, listen, you guys all got confused by the stars and Venus, and that's it. Like, no matter what anyone says, they never move off that position. And in this one, they seemingly, like, moved off of every position, and they're like, uh, actually, uh, you know what? It was this. And then at every turn, they're kind of thwarted, which I I thought was... That was my favorite part. I was like, I've never seen a case where the authorities went through so many failed attempts to disprove what happened. It just lends so much credibility to me that there was, in fact, something they saw that night. And you know that they were struggling to come up with different stories. They're like, oh, crap, what can we say next? Yeah. Is it this? No, wait, let's go with this story. Wait, no, this story. Wait, wait. The fact that they gathered people in a field and was like, we're going to turn on the lights so you can see. And then they turned on the lights <laughs> yeah. and no one could see the lights. It was like, that's one of the most embarrassing things I've ever heard. Yeah, I would have hated to be that guy. Right? Like, yeah, you, a fucking, yeah, 100%. Give it a test run. I can't, like, I, you would have thought someone would have been like the night before in the field, like, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I see him. I see him. We're good. This is going to, this is going to work out as our explanation. Um, no, it was uh, one of the better ones in like recent memory where I was like, oh, you know, that's a, Oh, it's because we don't. Yeah, yeah because we don't talk about aliens anymore. Yeah, we're more on the market. Uh, what what is what are they called? MLMs now? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, no reverse reverse funnel reverse, reverse funnel reverse, reverse funnel and uh, <laughs> MLMs. Oh, we're talking about some uh, aliens uh, tomorrow too. Yeah, Woo! pyramid schemes. Little fucking uh, Jerry Springer stuff going on too. It's crazy. It's got it all. With the Brooklyn, yeah, yeah. tomorrow we're talking, to, tomorrow we're, Monday we're recording live. Aliens, uh, the Brooklyn, sex, Brooklyn kidnapping, UFO. fucking yeah, it's everything. It's wild. It's a uh, little everything. Whoever, I wish I remember that guy's name who said we never talk about aliens. There's two in a row for you. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. He's probably, probably left our Patreon now. Um, no, that was cool. The other big news that I want to talk to you, everyone about is like, obviously the return of the king. Uh, Alex Jones back on Twitter. <laughs> Um, finally, Turn of the Mac, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I think it was reinstated today, Jeez. Um, based off a poll. Based a off poll a poll that, yeah, 
Put it to the people, Dan. What? Yeah, exactly. Put it to yeah, the people. Because we, because we live in a democracy. I voted yeah. for him. And, um, I voted for him. Back. So yeah, seven, well, <laughs> you and seven million other people yes. voted for him, apparently. How many uh, people uh, voted against him? Uh, they said it was about 70% people voted yes okay. to put him back on uh, I don't think they've made an official statement as to whether he's bringing back the info wars, um, Twitter, Twitter X, whatever. Um, but yeah, like Jones is coming back. I don't think he's posted as of, I don't know, a couple hours ago. I don't uh, know. Has he, he posted he anything just, originally yet? He just reposted some <laughs> no, stuff. No, he's just I been think. reposting stuff. He hasn't, he hasn't started talking about how the frog is probably a surprise to him too. Like he probably didn't even know. <laughs> he's got, he's got to rev up. Bro, the has no idea. He's just been trying to tweet yeah. this entire time. And all of a sudden, it's going through. <laughs> He's like, "What do you mean I've been banned? <laughs> what? <laughs> just, been, just been typing into this phone? You know what? It's probably like us, where you can't can't like get past the authentication well, it probably, anymore. Yeah. It probably goes like, oh, to like log in, like send this the code you get from this three digit number from your well, he's got phone. A, He's like, God damn it, I got banned t- a decade ago. He's probably trying to get a hold of his lawyers right now and be like, what can I tweet that won't interfere with my fucking lawsuit? My like a hundred lawsuits suits that i have running right now <laughs> well he did he did <laughs> sit down with an interview with musk and i was i listened to portions oh, of that must, because oh, that he was on fun. his best behavior and i don't like him on his best behavior i don't think like i listen to alex jones because i think he's hilarious yeah we so want I, alex jones like unhinged completely hacking, hacking at drones with a broadsword <laughs> yep. yeah eating screaming. his neighbor's babies we need him on yeah, yeah. you know yeah. 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 just absolutely shaking it looks <laughs> like his it. arteries unhinged. are co- he's like beet red mm. that tomato yeah, red. oh yeah just yeah. absolutely yeah. fuming. like that's that's the, that's, that's what alex. i sign up for that's yeah. our alex uh pig babies joe <laughs> Uh, that's that's the joke. Like like, tell, hear him talk and be a reasonable person, and he's like, "Oh, you know." I'm like, "Ban him!" Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to hear that stuff. Uh, I don't know who you yeah. are. Uh, yeah, it'd be it'd be interesting. I mean, I well, what are you guys' thoughts on that? Like, I I don't think like unless you're, you know, it's a slippery slope to just ban people. I mean, there's certain certain people maybe, but like, there's worse stuff on X than Alex Jones. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but not with as many followers as he as reaches him. So I don't know if it depends on whatever. I mean, violated terms and conditions like it's a private platform. So. They can do whatever they want. Like you can yeah. say freedom of speech, but it's a private platform at the end and it can do whatever the fuck they want. Because <laughs> yeah. otherwise, if you have them step in, that's a slippery slope. dude. When do you tell private corporations that they can't <clears throat> do what they want to do? I mean, I mean, it, like that's the new fucking whole ad campaign, though. It'd be like, we might not have Disney. <laughs> well, we got something else. Oh, we got Infowars. <laughs> we got um, Infowars, boys. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah. Bob Iger. Yeah, Bob Iger's out there <laughs> making frogs gay. <laughs> Could you imagine this that? Just his whole <laughs> that was the whole deal. Like you got you can come back, but you got to direct everything towards Bob Iger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. <laughs> and Disney, not Disney, just Bob Iger. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Free to flame on Bob Iger. Just so yeah. ready to go. Remember those pig babies, show Bob Iger's one of them. <laughs> I'm not, I'm really not <laughs> sure he can post a lot of stuff because it's like he's already owes 1.5. Was it 1.5 billion or 1.5 million? Or, no, for not what he's like, what he, he's in, what are you in, in the hole for? Yeah, he owes. Um, uh, well, I, I mean, he probably has LLCs. All his companies are broke. What if they oh, bring yeah. him back just to review? <laughs> They're going after it. What if they bring him back just to review Disney movies? <laughs> like let's get Alex Jones reviewing the Marvels. <laughs> 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 oh dude that'd be great i i mean i'm i'm all for it um, no he does no it's 1.5 billion in damages 1.5 with a whoa, b that's with a b that's you have a to b. Lot, sell a lot of dick pills to get that money back mm. yeah oh my goodness a lot of gold coins yeah. if you want to help alex jones uh pay off his lawsuits i'm sure Dumb. he has some buckets of food that also work as toilets yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's gonna be an it, it'll be interesting to uh that sucks, man. Imagine someone's big theory for $1.5 billion. We'd be ruined. <laughs> <laughs> someone sued us for $1,500. We'd be ruined. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Your minimum Patreon would be $5 million a piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. That'd be our lawsuit tier. <laughs> um, well, no, we the, got infinite money now. We're good. Yeah, yeah, that's Doesn't true. Matter. How you going to sue recourse? us? Oh, yeah. I forgot mm-hmm. about that. Um, the other thing, uh, the other thing that I had, uh, Andrew kind of turned me on is remember that, uh, did we talk about the house that blew up in Virginia? Yeah. 
Oh right, did, yeah. Did you see yeah, that? In Arlington? Yeah, Arlington. Yeah, yeah. Did you see that? Did you that? get down that fucking rabbit hole though? No. Yeah, I kind of went on, on it. down it. I saw oh. some of the stuff that guys that linked that like unhinged LinkedIn that people found out about that guy, and that well, is a it, bizarre thing to find. <laughs> it's a bizarre read on voice. some of the stuff. I didn't read all of it, but I just read this, some of the stuff, and it's like the guy thought his neighbors were going to where, or he believed that his neighbors were going to kill him because it was the anniversary of Pearl Harbor, like a, something. Oh, along Dan, those lines. Dan, so much. Uh, you're, only, Dan. you're only scratching the surface yeah, of buddy. like where that rabbit hole goes. If you dig deep enough on that Arlington explosion, it comes down to. Uh, basically a, a, a world, like a global connected private spy agency is currently seeing all of their assets killed off one by one is basically mm. what we're seeing. And that's what <laughs> this was a hit on uh, one of their assets. <laughs> it and just like, blew up that whole house. Yeah, they yeah, wanted to incinerate him. Very, Send very a message. covert way to do it. Yeah, it's a very yeah. covert way to do that. Yeah. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, no, no, no. We're, forget espionage now. We're going in. <laughs> to blow up the whole house. neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, it, it goes wild. Like, if you go on, I mean, there's some crazy threads down there that uh, that you can pull it, you know, go all over. Talk about a cabal of like a spy agency cabal. Um, that his and, like neighbors were in. Like, are his neighbors like surveilling him? I guess he was saying, oh man, I've read some of it and I was like, whoa. <laughs> well, his parents yeah. were uh, fucking spies too. Like, it's fucking. Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Dude, Got he's like Peter Parker. He's like Peter Parker, man. Yeah, no shit. Had no idea, right? Kingpin's after him. Um, Bandito, you're on here. You said you had something for us. Yeah. What, what'd, you, what'd you bring today? So, I probably like other people listen to other podcasts. However, you guys are my favorite. And you're How the dare only one that you? I to, to enjoy and interact with. So um, I was listening to another one and they did this kind of short thing on the Causey Rev mirrors. Have you guys ever heard of those? Causey Rev mirrors? No. Yeah. K-O-Z-Y-R-E-V. Fucking communist mirrors? Thing. What? Yes. No. Um, it basically, it's a kind of a cool story, but it's these mirrors that this Russian made after being in a gulag for 10 years, uh, completely isolated. He came up with this theory of, um, like part, uh, uh, whatever, not particle theory, but something like that. Anyways, it's these sheets of aluminum that you make into these tubes. Um, and then when you go inside of them, you're supposed to be able to time travel and experience all time at once. And when they were testing these, they would see, um, the town that they were in, in Russia, uh, saw UFOs all over their town that seven different times they saw seven different UFOs. So it's a story that, um, includes, yeah. I mean, that Time guy, travel, guys, that guy looks like, in a hot water tank. Looks here. Like, it looks like something I've, yeah, it looks like something I find in a, fi- a fun house. Like, yeah. Fucking, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. it's supposed to be really easily made. And I was thinking you guys should do like, maybe like look into it a little bit. This is kind of just a, I can a, just got, I can go to a small to town carnival it. to get that. <laughs> Pretty sure the same thing happens you, to you me. You can make one yourself and then you can experience time travel and you know, well, I'm pretty sure the same thing I happens to me time every, travel every day. When I'm that. in the fucking bathroom and you know, you fold the two mirrors on the sides and you sit in the, oh, one yeah. in the middle and you're like, look yeah. down and you can see yeah. about 60,000 of you. Yeah. It's fucking, it takes me to a whole different dimension, man. Infinite, infinite numbers yeah. of you. Yeah. So but this it, is it's an interesting story. It's, it's, he never got to test it himself. Like I said, he was locked in a gulag for 10 years and came up with this theory on, on time travel and all this. And, and then Russia gave money to these scientists to actually do it after he died. And there's nothing really out there about it. It's like not, it was not popular when it first happened, but um, there was some stuff on like Russian state run media, um, a movie about it or like a documentary. And there's a few things that I found on YouTube about it and some stories, but I mean, it's not super well known. I wonder if it's like one of those things where it's like, if you think of like, uh, like, like almost like a reverse sensory deprivation tank where you're just like, you're where you're like, Cause if you're in a sensory deprivation tank, you lay there, you kind of like lose sense of yourself. If when you're floating in the dark mm-hmm. and the water's the same, you kind of lose a sense of your body. And I've actually 
in the tank have felt like I've started to spin uncontrollably and like sp- picked up and I've had it's to like terrible. stick my finger out and touch the wall just to kind of center myself. And you're like, that's your mind mm-hmm. just kind of like going. And I wonder if this thing's like the reverse. You're just like, it's just so much mirrored image. You're like, it's what's it? sensory amplification tank. Basically. You're just like, ah, well, I, feel like, I feel like you just put on well, kaleidoscope goggles and just kind of, <laughs> it's the same effect. They put the that's symbol terrible. of peace or the peace flag or whatever that is into it. And then after that, that's when they started seeing the aliens or the UFOs, not aliens specifically, but UFOs. So it, I don't know. It, it's a very, it's a, it's an interesting story. Now, is it true or not? Russia says it is. So we have to believe well, it. Maybe it's right? like, maybe it's one of those ones where it's like, it's, maybe this is some sort of technology that we don't understand. We kind of talked about, like we've talked about before where like the detonation of the atomic bomb, maybe that was something that, you know, alerted extraterrestrials. Uh, and we kind of saw like big flaps around that time of when we were really experimenting with nuclear technology. Well, maybe th- something like this is like another one. They're like, Oh, these, these motherfuckers have figured out mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> the, the old coil yeah. mirror. Yeah. No, we, no, we haven't been doing it for hundreds of years. <laughs> no, the coiling mirror, the electric coiling mirror. I'm looking oh, at the, it's the a, electric it's a, coiling mirror. Yeah, it's actually a, it's a patent. They have a Russian patent. Ru two one two two four four six six device for the correction of man's psychosomatic diseases. Sure. Yeah, I it's supposed to be a medical antipsychotics. Thing. He was developing it initially yeah. as a medical thing because it's supposed <clears> to heal you of medical problems and anxieties and all of that, but. They said when they first well, I could just started, go to the Bosnian pyramids for that. I, why do I got? Not I if you're claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. It's. I mean, it's it's weird and interesting. The fact that they see like once they kind of ran it, then they're seeing UFOs. I'm like, you know, maybe maybe there's something to it that we don't know, right? Like maybe maybe it's one of those things where. I think we're going to have to try it. It looks, it, you're not wrong. It looks very easy to build. <laughs> like it just looks quite easy. Not a lot. Yeah, you of just sh- gotta get some what if it's like yeah, fucking yeah, stranger things little. though? Like that fucking tank that the little girl goes in and the next thing you know, we've got fucking mind flares running around. Like we gotta be careful. Oh, yeah. shit. Maybe those aliens, maybe it's going to open down. the door to these aliens coming here. It's not worth it. Let me have my fucking, you know, paranoid here. schizophrenia. Okay. I don't want fucking <laughs> aliens here. <laughs> Interesting. A yeah, that's a wild, that's a pretty <clears throat> it's a pretty wild one. Now I want to look into one. I want to watch it. It's a do. fun photo though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the guy, the guy looks hilarious. Looks like he's ready yeah. for Tron. All hooked up the wires. He's like, I'm ready for time. <laughs> <laughs> ready to time travel. <laughs> Take me. Astrophysicist. That's the word I was thinking of. He's a theoretical. He turned into a theoretical astrophysicist because he was locked away in the gulag for ten years, completely alone, and he couldn't do anything other than just think. So he came um, up with this. Aaron in in the chat saying he believes that mirrors are portals to different dimensions. So maybe this is like, maybe that is some, you know, some, some way to unlock it. I don't know. Maybe. Interesting. Why not? Got to curve the mirror. I guess, you know, then then you can Uh, have the reflection that waves back. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I always thought, I remember seeing this thing where it was like, um, this person was writing, like they were talking to their dad, who's like a physicist. And they're like, what if you had a box of mirrors? And it was just like all mirrors. What does it look like inside? And then the guy's like, what's the reflection of? And he's like, damn it. <laughs> like, it was puzzling. He was like, if that's stupid. And then he's thinking about it and he's like, I have no idea. And then he started to build this like mirror box to try to figure out what it would look like if you it, because there's there's nothing in there to reflect and then he like dropped the camera in the box and it's like one of the trippiest things you've ever seen in your entire life that's that's called a kaleidoscope yeah but no but no says, but i used to buy the those light. things at the little natural wonder stores <laughs> yeah. the little window yeah, it's on his bad just, experience in time oh. yeah i'm like i've been experiencing time travel since i was 12 going into the, the mall and just being like yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. uh okay. interesting um yeah it's who, who knows i think i th- actually you know what? it's it's kind of funny it's uh i think one of my friends recently was talking about how his kids like had just gotten like a kaleidoscope and she's like one like one or two or mm-hmm. something and it's funny to watch like little kids like interact with these things that are like 
what is this? <laughs> what is this sorcery? sorcery? You know? Oh God. And like some devil's magic. Tired, right. You know, they're like, they're in the, putting it in the thing and they're just like tripping balls out on that thing. And you're just like, yeah, you've never seen anything like this. You don't understand what's going on. Um, <laughs> you know, and I forgot, I forgot what she called it. Like something like, it's like kaleidoscope. Cause I can't say kaleidoscope. It's just, they come up with some word for it to, to refer to that that thing <laughs> but it's just like yeah it's like i don't know it's an interesting thing to have a i i go in one if like if there was one in the town they're like you can sit in this we'll charge it up i'd be like i'll all experience go to your all local time. sheet yeah, yeah go to your local sheet metal <laughs> dealer and just roll your yourself junkyard. up roll yourself up in the two well there, there's obviously some sort of conductor your, your local too. aluminum siding <laughs> Yeah, and be like, hey, can you just roll this out for me? Yeah, I have a feeling that if I did this in my backyard, you're going to read an uh, article about <laughs> man cooks himself alive, mm. slow cooks himself <laughs> in tin, in in a loom foil. In don't fa- do it in summer. I mean, yeah, this time of year will be okay. <laughs> yeah. No, Brayden will get stuck in it. How do oh, I get yeah. out? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Dan, what'd you have for us tonight? Uh, what did I have for just some other things going on? It's just, uh, what is it? I am, I am living in constant fear of the, <laughs> the impending, the impending wild hog invasion from Canada, Canada, the Northern Canadian hog, uh, massacre that is coming. Cause apparently we've talked about it before the super pigs, like yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about them. Fucking They're essentially, scary. these things are essentially cryptids because they are, They're bebops. um, yeah, they, they're these like mutant hogs that are just like running rampant all over. What is it? Uh, parts of like right above like Minnesota, North Dakota and Montana, uh, like sitting on that border. And apparently it's like it's enough consideration that these states are like devoting a uh, like a not insignificant amount of resources to try and stop these pigs from coming across. Um, Dude, these it, things. The, the craziest thing to me is that I thought the pig invasion was like uh, the pig issue was a U.S. thing because we literally get no pig news up north here. None. They're we covering it up, man. Yeah, we they're covering nothing, it up. We hear nothing about these pigs. <laughs> nothing. Like ha- for how much yeah, a pig sympathizer, man. Yeah. yeah, just trying to blame up. It's it's yeah, it's bizarre. Like I'm. I, I wasn't aware that that pigs are actually like they are not um, native to North America. Like they're not. They are no, an invasive species. Yeah, they brought them brought over from Europe. And Dude, it's yeah. I like people the like videos because these we must have looked up like super pigs or typed it in or something. So like every now and then pig stuff will pop up on our algorithm on social medias. And it looks like Iraq, like marine footage when these yeah. people are hunting these things, it's like it's crazy at dark, and they've they're like they've got like heavy machine guns. They're like contact, contact. They just hit the lights, and there's just hundred of pigs, and they just start <laughs> you yeah. just start mowing down out of like and out of a helicopter. You're like, what? This what is going on it's here? Like, this is what yeah. this is wild. It's, they've so, been doing that in Texas for a while, right? <laughs> it's um, crazy, and it's insane because okay, so a sow like a you know female pig can have over can have like six piglets in a litter right and then they can raise up to two litters a year so they're saying that even if you like even if you killed like 65 percent or more of the pig population like you could kill that much a year and you would still increase they would still increase their population every so, year and they're saying that so what you're saying is the the tipping point is we got to kill 66 percent or more yeah but the thing is they're saying that hunting these things makes it even worse because the success rate for hunters is normally between like two percent and three percent and they're saying that that one just makes them like the ones oh, that you do kill it just makes them smarter the ones that you do kill are the dumb well, ones i'll tell you so this like, i'll tell you this you just the make videos, them better the videos, and stronger I've and faster. Seen, the videos i've seen they're doing better than two or three percent they're like oh, like holy these guys are like have heavy yeah that's in texas guns. bro they got machine guns oh, yeah. we don't have that here yeah yeah, here aren't, they're probably aren't they learning though the ones that you don't kill. They're going back to their packs and they're like learning the routes that the they get. Are taking yeah, so they, they get. They're them. smart, so they avoid. They learn to avoid yeah. those areas. They learn to like the ones that you don't <laughs> kill. Some of the get smart animals. I mean, fuck. So they're, they're like they're Saiyans. They're like the more battles they get in, their power levels go up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fucked. Yes. Oh, they do. It, it's 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 crazy to me that because I'm like, I feel like for as big of an issue it is as you read and you see these videos and it's like, they're like, they're coming from Canada. I'm like, where, where like it's yeah. Manitoba and Saskatchewan just fucking overrun with these things. And we don't even know, like, do we have sleep, like a sleeper cell pig invasion in the middle of Canada that no one's talking about? Well, like, is he, that big of it? Like, 
what's going on here? Well, the th- crazy thing uh, to me, it's like, the, you know, this is something that it, not only is it something that's edible, but it's like a staple of most diets. Like pork is something that everybody eats on a regular basis. What are we doing here, boys? Let's get a fucking team together. Yeah, that's right. Like this, you could feel we, uh, we could feed all of Canada and fix a fucking problem. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. Well, how come bacon's so expensive, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me there's we got an invasion. We're mowing these things down. How come I'm still paying over ten dollars for a pack of bacon? That's crazy. That's because Nuts. they're covering. Uh, yeah, they're keeping it from you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, when these things start to crest the Rocky Mountains, then. Uh, and swim across the Georgia Strait. We're gonna be in trouble to Vancouver Island. Then I'll be We're then I'll be fucked. in trouble. Yeah. Oh, they can swim. Pigs are good swimmers. Oh, they're, oh yeah, yeah. They're they don't swimmers. doubt it. There's, there's right. some there's some narrows that they could cross for sure. Um, well, yes. but you know what? Maybe that's see, maybe that's low key why we're just letting the fucking grizzlies go. We're not hunting grizzlies anymore. Oh, we're, we're preparing. We're, we're building the West up. We're building the Western resistance. Your bear <laughs> army. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Well, you, we, we talked about how uh, like literally after we said like, oh, prepare for news of someone like a someone getting mauled by a grizzly, like a f- tree planter got mauled by a grizzly. Like yeah. these mm. things are fucking mean, and they breed like crazy. And they're so they're giant they're sent, killing machines. Yeah. They're, they're setting them up for the bears yeah. or yeah. for the for the boars. The Battle of the Rockies. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we're ready. <laughs> Super oh pigs versus goodness. grizzly bears. Oh boy, I'm on it. I'll take grizzly bears all day. <laughs> oh yeah, good dude. All Why? Day. How, how all many pigs are there though? How many pigs? We got take like, these? How many pigs? Of pigs? Yeah, a bear could get overwhelmed by the pigs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pigs. How many though? Like things are that. mean. Yeah, but yeah, how many got those of them tusks, takes one man. grizzly? They got the little tusks. Doesn't matter. I've grizzly taken out ten. Easy. Yeah, the grizzlies. I mean, the grizzlies ten. messing ten them up. A grizzly, but a grizzly is like a grizzly is like what? They have like maybe two cubs, usually one, but like maybe two. They usually like, have two, and maybe one survives if they're lucky. Yeah, and that's like what per year, and then yeah. you've well, got like you twelve remember, boars a yeah, year. Yeah, but we're also we're also helping the grizzlies by open season on the pigs. It's true. I mean, you thin them out yeah. a little bit. I don't know. You could be riding on the back of bears, just like charging into <laughs> hordes of boars. This isn't Russia, Dan. <laughs> the nomadic, uh, the nomadic Yeti says another cover up by Big Pig. <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's like, these things are basically Pigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's there good. Is, I was when I was looking for that story. There was another. There was another one that said like some guys had like caught a pig, like a, a pig that had been on a. a had been missing or like it had had gotten loose at some point. I forgot what state it was in. They called it. They're like uh, authorities capture pig that's been missing for two months uh, named Albert Einstein. And I was like, that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, we got a question from the chat. Jacob Wilkinson asks, what do you guys think about the men in black? Do you think they're real? Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's four I think movies about them. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? There's uh, four. Well, the 100%. I think, He's a man in black. There's, there's four. There's well, four fucking the, men in black movies. Yeah. 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 There, what? There's Men in Black, the original. Men and in Black Two, International, right? Or Men in Black Three, and then Men in Black and, International. Yeah. yeah. It's four Men in Black movies. Yeah. Holy fuck. Um, no, I definitely think they're real. I mean, it's probably some sort of three letter agency most of the time, or some like subsidiary of a three letter agency where they're like, hey, like, you know, we need to go investigate these things, or they're, you know, trying to cover. Like, I my I would always point the finger at the CIA just from all the shady shit they've done where it's like they go to a house and like, especially if someone saw some like, you know, undercover, you know, tech that they weren't supposed to be like, what you think you saw, you did not see, you know? All right. Like making coins, the statements, all the shake them down a little bit. Like to me that has CIA kind of written all over it. But what do you guys think? MIB real? Mm, it probably doesn't help things it probably muddies the water a bit that it's pretty simple to kind of pose as the men in black like a g-man yeah, like back then you could really yeah. just flash it flash an id like supernatural style just like nah. <laughs> you know yeah. and people would be like oh okay uh you know black don't talk suit, about this to anybody like because, black ray bands on yeah just because you want the exclusive on the story or something like that or you just don't want to tell the people who you are like you just go in there and uh, you know it could possibly you, be that so do they you know exist they aren't on i mean a, you know they aren't on any government list they straight don't <laughs> exist um yeah, but maybe they're like remember when they were first being described like they were wearing the weird clothes they had like lipstick all that type of stuff like look like they were in costumes like maybe they were aliens yeah. themselves right trying to cover like stuff maybe, up. Those maybe those they were never working like, maybe they never worked for oh. the government maybe they were literally their job were plants here from whatever you know alien species to cover their fucking tracks 
right? Like their damage control of whatever, you know, oh, these people have had an encounter. We got to cover it up. I definitely think the like the early, some of the early stories that we've heard of men in black, they are like, y- you almost get a description of like that uncanny valley. You're like, these guys are Be careful fucking, with the descriptions. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a touchy one. It's a fucking touchy one. <laughs> Pale. <laughs> right. Yeah. No names, no fingerprints. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I could literally, I could be the dudes from, was it from fringe or whatever? Like the little bald guys walking around from a different dimension. I don't know. Could be the like, three it could of just us. be like this, um, yeah, it could uh, just be dudes like I uh, could be dudes. intergalactic police. Could be just like dudes coming down here being looking for a certain extraterrestrial, like, hey, you saw something? Like uh, hello, human. I, I, I am mean, also a fellow human. There's and we definitely know there's been agencies that's like agencies that have been dissolved and stuff that were like looking into these things. So like to say that, you know, some of these encounters were of you know, possibly from these agencies. I mean, I, I definitely think these the men in black because the men in black i don't think the men in black <laughs> hold on let me clarify the question i don't think there's a secret branch of the united states government called the mib <laughs> where they have some sort of underground lair where they like are where they dance just what well, where yeah, they just yeah where dance. they dance and they got little they worms running Cadillacs. around but they i like i Cadillacs definitely and... think there's there's probably like you know these people who have gone and visited contactees to try to shake them down or give them you know, false information. So in that sense, I do think they exist. Um, were they all from the same agency? Likely not. There's probably been different forms of different agencies in my, that's what, that's kind of my thoughts on that. But, uh, we got a nice little tip from, uh, that white GTI. Thank you. You said, grab oh, some yeah. beer on me, lads. No problem. We will do yeah. just that. Thanks, buddy. Um, so yeah, I, Bandita, what are your thoughts? Men in black. Have they been seen recently is the question for me. Because um, I would say more now, if they're not men in black, they're going to be more of like a Mulder Scully kind of thing where they're just like regular looking people going out trying to investigate or get information. Because it would make more sense to have them at this point blend in and try to like spread that disinformation or, hey, you didn't really see this or, hey, that's, that couldn't have been what it was. To Because everybody knows you know, the men in black. And so why would you continue with the same look if you don't want to propagate it? Right. Well, it's like, well, they don't even have, they don't even have to go out there anymore. They can just sit on the internet anonymously. Yeah, it's true. And then, so the seeds that's, of dough, well, yeah, that's, um, it's all, all the it, men in black are behind keyboards now. Yeah. <laughs> Do, I mean, that would, that would so make who sense says to me. You're I, not I, one I'm, or, or I'm not one. Right? Oh. Nope. Whoa, cut her off. Whoa. She's getting too close to the truth here. <laughs> uh we know what you're all about. No, it's an it's an it's a, that's that's an interesting thought because I like I don't I'm trying to think of recent ones where like people have kind of described men in black, but it's like to be honest, the term men in black, it's just a term used for like people we didn't know coming around and asking questions. Like that's realistically like what you know, the, a lot of the descriptions of the men in black are is just people who we didn't know who they were or who they worked for asking questions of the like men in black. And so it's like, you know, maybe it's just a newspaper, newspaper people come around. Like, so yeah, a lot I mean, of it, yeah. it's, it's very like, there's a huge gray area for what would, you know, could, you could count as men in black. So it's anytime anyone sees anything in town, I dress up and I go ask questions every, anytime. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think it's a duty to create some mystery in the world and you should go out and be that mystery. I'm not uh, even so. sure like which agency <laughs> would wear like black suits. Like you would really just wear like a nice, like brown suit or something like that. Like, well, I don't, I don't think there's a, brown I don't think there's a requirement suit. on the suit yeah, the color. Black is who's keeping wearing, it clean. Who's like, walking around? Black is the color to wear. If you're going to wear, I'd say who's black or navy blue. Brown, brown suit in 2023? Maybe like, gray. Not, no, oh, not in 2023. I'm talking about back then. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, brown, blue? No, maybe. Yeah. yeah, blue. Blue, I can see blue with some of that brown shoes, navy, brown belt. Yeah. Do you want to wear black? black like, if you're gray. investigating something in like the Nevada desert, you don't want to wear black. It's be hot as fuck. You just be like, yeah, but you're something nice. badass. You're not wearing a fucking tan <laughs> you suit. You're a professional. Yeah, you yeah. wear a powder blue suit. I'm saying a powder yeah, blue powder, suit. Okay, powder, powder blue. Yeah, powder in the blue. middle of the desert or whatever. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? What is you're investigating blue? in summertime. Like, it's got to be like a summer <laughs> outfit. I'm sure. <laughs> I am Groot saying in the chat. Yeah, you just maybe, say blue. Maybe quarter just, full quarter. It's MIB. Yeah, it's MIB. They could be men in blue. They could be men in black. And it's just like so. It just like oh yeah, but you can't. 
can't, we can't be MIT. The full, <laughs> the full jean suit. The oh, yeah, yeah. Full, de- oh, yeah. full mm-hmm. denim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, full you denim. guys have the men in yeah. blue yeah. jeans. Yeah. Yeah. The men in, it's, yeah. No, it's the it's MIG. Men in yeah. denim. The men in denim. Yeah. yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, sounds right. <laughs> uh, Peter Cross is saying, yeah, freelance men in black on your spare time. Yeah, I, I encourage everyone uh, to uh, moonlight as a man in black. There's nothing spare time. wrong with asking questions. No, right? nothing. No. And yeah. when people ask ID, you should get you should get cagey and jumpy and leave yeah. immediately. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you should bring you should bring briefcases full of I, random photos of uh, UFOs yeah, and leave it on their table yeah. for them to to for people pull to a, stumble pull upon. A corner from your ear, make a coin disappear. You know. Yeah. Have a set of handcuffs that you handcuff the briefcase to yourself, mm-hmm. and then leave yeah. it there as you go to the yeah. bathroom. Leave you it say, on the table. Can I take this off? It's really uncomfortable. And then you crack yeah. it open before you go. No password on the briefcase. Don't look in here and just like <laughs> unlatch it and like leave. Don't don't look in there. <laughs> just like walk out of the room. Um, Dan, I saw something you had something about the Disneyland streaker. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> so apparently, okay. So well, uh, I saw the yeah. video. I saw, saw a guy, the video. Yeah, a guy streaked in Disneyland, and he got like, as you can imagine. Insta- they're like no they one them, dies in disney <laughs> they bring them to the downstairs like the yeah. part you don't see the underground that's yeah. that's what the that's what the whole thing is so apparently some uh, stuff's kind of either been circulating among the conspiracy circles that uh people were talking about connecting this guy to like the underground tunnels uh of disney world which are an actual thing like uh, disney, yeah, world, disney does- world or is not disneyland and yeah. Disney, like these places, like they do have a, a vast network of underground tunnels so people can move from place to place. And they say, you know, it's mostly so to make the scene better. You know, you don't have like people moving from place to place. Well, all the you garbage can, and shit goes underneath. But all you got to do is garbage. watch Beverly Hills Cop 3. Too, for like the characters can Beverly like, Hills you know, Cop 3 just gives you the whole inside look at it. <laughs> yeah. uh, any of the, like the theme parks and stuff like usually have those kinds of underground networks. But they're saying that this guy... um they're saying that, uh, yeah, there's, you know, there was like these some type of like kidnapping allegations that started around like mid November. Uh, and then they had these like, there was like a deep fake video of a podcaster, uh, and they might be familiar with him. His name's Joe Rogan. There was like a deep fake of Joe Rogan going around that al- that made these allegations of like these kids disappearing, um, or like a four year old disappearing, uh, in a bathroom by herself and then she ended up like climbing down a secret staircase like with an un- un- unknown adult male just kind of real general <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that so, but they said like this deep fake by joe rogan got circulated like you know quite like it would and then a lot of people kind of started going off on that you know asking a whole bunch of crazy stuff about all these things and like disney was like i think they had to respond and be like yeah no we have tunnels but none of that's ever happened <laughs> no like, whenever we have kids come down yeah. there we just feed them to the alligators fuck problem right. solved yeah, yeah. <laughs> gonzo yeah. yeah and then we put so them in like, the then we put their corpses in part of the it's always what's the it's what's that did small world get after attacked all small world didn't some kid all get didn't some kid world. get attacked uh, by an alligator died it, yeah disney yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. display right or was it Treasure Island, and it killed a kid. No, I heard it. I thought it was at like a Treasure Disneyland Island, resort or something it? like that. Oh, oh maybe yeah, it was yeah. at a resort. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It was at Disneyland Resort. Yes, I do yeah, recall that. Up. There was an alligator Oof. attack. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, Awful I bet man. they called every alligator in a f- fifty sure. mile radius of the resort after that. <laughs> uh, um, th- it's funny. Like as you said that about like the, the the secret staircases and stuff, a video popped up like this. One of the most every now and then I'll see like these like PSA videos pop up on Twitter and Instagram of like, you know, keep your kids safe. It'll say something like a parent. This is what parents should do. And there was this one where it was like, why you like never let your kids go down a slot water slide unattended. And it was like it showed like a hotel water slide. So like literally like two swirls into the pool. And then there's like a 12 year old girl and she, this like grown man comes is like, excuse me, can I go down first? And she's like, okay. And so he goes down and then the slide attendant goes, all right, go ahead. And the girl, the girl goes, and then it just shows her going around the first corner and the guy's just spidered in the slide. And he's like, ah, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, there's two, there's one loop. You would in like two seconds, you'd be like, Hey, 
how come she hasn't come down? You're like, the next person that goes down is gonna crash into all of them. Yeah. Like I was like, this is ludicrous. Brayden has Brayden has managed many a water slide. So I mean Oh dude, I know. So yeah. Brayden's our, you deal our with any fucking water slide specialist. Pool pedos while you were there? Oh no, I used to be the spider guy. <laughs> you were the pool pedo. No, no, no. So no, uh, funny, like honestly, if you if you understand the trajectory of water slides, like if you slow yourself yeah, down at a down. corner and you kind of like scooch down right at the corner. So when people ride up the right up the side, you can spider on the inside of the corner and then just so as they come around the corner, you'd be like, ah, and they just scare them as they're like up on the edge. It's it makes for a funny laugh for everyone. <laughs> I used to do that all the time growing up. <laughs> this video is just you. <laughs> PSA was about me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Careful on the corner. Somebody tell us, somebody like reliving a story of Brayden yeah. on that water slide. <laughs> just, uh, this is thank a you. reenactment of Shadower. She events. says, uh, send a nice little tip and it said, my favorite band of weirdos. Mm. Um, yeah. What do we have anything? What else do we have? Anything else uh, before we? Say, uh, ah, quick update on the Mexican alien corpses. Apparently, oh, yes, they're Jamie cake. Mouse and yeah, the cake, uh, cake aliens. Uh, Jamie Mouse and trotted out apparently is a couple of uh researchers to speak on their DNA findings of the corpses. Um, so according to these uh researchers who come from an unnamed university, I believe, and not really uh, they weren't really um clear on their credentials is what they are but they said that 30 percent of the specimen's dna is unknown or not from any known species interesting which, which is because it's from paper mache yeah mm. <laughs> that's <Could be>. why <laughs> um yeah, did they do the fda you know analysis on that cake batter <laughs> yeah <laughs> saltless came back saltless yeah yeah, yeah. um you know, I had a quick crush it's hour. It's confetti cake. <laughs> <laughs> I had a quick crush hour update too. Uh, I saw that Avi Loeb started to weigh in on Grush. Oh, fantastic! Uh, Avi Loeb was just like, you know, basically said he's like, you know, I think he's sincere, but like he he doesn't he know anything, it. Yeah. and yeah, he believes it, and you know, he's sincere, but the people feeding him information maybe have ulterior motives holy right. shit i've never seen a guy get piled on so quick <laughs> like i would imagine he's used to it at this point yeah he, like, he doesn't you know. care avi Loeb's a absolute he's uh, he's getting money for his uh project <laughs> he's like here. i got tenure i don't care i'll well, say whatever i want yeah <laughs> uh it, it was pretty funny like there was a huge twitter thing of being like you don't know shit you still don't even know what a moo moo is you idiot <laughs> people screaming at him i was like oh this is why i love x and it can't we can't let it die <laughs> this is the only time you can call a harvard professor an idiot <laughs> big middle finger to you bob Iger. <laughs> <laughs> you won't stop us um or you guys i don't have x but we do have uh, we do have lots of cool stuff coming up at Alien Theorist Theorizing. We got a Brooklyn Bridge UFO. Um, we have Cosmic Channels uh, are back Thursday night, six p.m. Um, we got right after this, we're recording uh, Confidential, uh, the CIA uh, vampires. Uh, a little story about how the CIA, um, you know, contracted sent Count Dracula. Yeah, contracted Count Dracula and sent an army of ass wanks to uh, disrupt uh, the Philippine government uh so that'll be that's always Sounds interesting fucking dope. <laughs> yes it's uh it is, it is it's a wild one um bandito anything else before we uh got anything to plug or what you want to say before we sign this one out uh, the way you introduced me today I, I wanted to come in saying i've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty i didn't get a chance <laughs> so it's been good but no i don't have anything else Thanks for having me on. Um, and I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, yeah, Bandito. Awesome. And if you want, if you're on our Discord or our Patreon, uh, you know the tier levels. You message Dan, and we'll put you. We'll put you. That you know what? Hold on, I got some fun bone to pick. I, I messaged Dan, and I was like, "Hey, do we have anyone lined up?" And he goes, "No, Bandito can't come on." Uh, she bailed and I'm like oh okay he goes so it's just going to be me and you maybe and I said oh yeah that's fine and he's like should I quickly message anyone and I'm like yeah why don't you shoot a message on discord Dan shoots a message on discord not even half a second 
you reply, yeah, I'll come on. I was like, we were pretty damn messy. He's like, what the hell? What the hell's going on? Am I crazy here? Why you make me a liar? No, I, I was going to wait. It's, <laughs> December is crazy at the post office. And I thought I might be a little bit extra tired tonight because I got up at 3 a.m. this morning to go to work. Um, but I got a nap in after work before my football game. So I figured since you didn't have anybody else, I'd jump on and get it. Get my turn out of the way. Nope. Can we come again, though, if Perfect. we wanted to? Uh, if we don't get anybody? Oh yeah. oh yeah of course okay. yeah you can put your name you can put your name back on the list um so if you want your name on the list message dan on patreon or on discord um he'll run you through the steps pretty easy microphone it's easier on discord i get those messages right to my yeah. phone microphone camera you got to bring one thing um no that's it anything else before we go no all right and as we always say at the end of these things keep those eyes on the skies peace